It is our first morning breakfast at sea and we're trying to eat really quick so we can run up to trivia. We slept in this morning and loved it. It was nice getting able to just relax and chill. And so we're eating breakfast real quick and then we're gonna head up. I love this muesli, I think is how you say it. And then of course Mickey waffles and I'm probably not gonna eat a whole lot of that, but I might, we'll see. That's Eggs Benedict. They're winter medals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the dads, everybody say ooh. Ooh. Everybody say ah. Ah, uh, I did not know they still had those. Okay. Anyway, they're back. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with question number one. Which Disney classic celebrates the circle of life? The Mermaid. Don't say the answers out loud. Sorry. All right. <laughs> so question number 11, guys. Each year, Disney Nature releases a film. No comment. Stand your ground if you believe you're right. We know that. You see this right here? It used to say Steve Martin. Which was the correct answer? Steve Martin. We still got 21 though. All is well. Did they say that? Somebody said that? So we're in Cabanas for lunch and I just discovered a neat option. The green tags are vegetarian, which is really nice to have those options and let you know about them. So good job, Disney. So loading up our plate and walking a little further, we discovered that they have sushi available today. So I did get a plate of that. And then they also have a carving station we didn't see. So I'm not sure because I have a plate full, but we'll see. But anyway, always walk around before you decide what you want because you may see something that looks appetizing after your plate is already full. And this is the this is the atmosphere inside of Cabanas. The windows you can see the water, and there's a drink station right behind us. So apparently my husband has never heard of Disney Bounding. And I'm trying to explain the wonderful world of Disney Bounding to him. And he's not liking it so much. <laughs> so we're trying to come up with characters, you know, in ways to Disney Bound. And this is the answer he gives me. Thinking I could wear a sailor shirt with no pants. <laughs> he wants to Disney Bound as Donald. I don't think so. That's not gonna work. They're not gonna let you in the park looking like that. <laughs> Only my husband. Look how cute. They have August Peridot cupcakes. That's my birthstone. So I might have to get one of these tomorrow just for the sake of eating one. <laughs> These are so precious. And the unicorn cupcakes. This all looks delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's some Mickey Mouse. Macadamia cookies. This looks delicious. So cute in here. So here's our cabin. We're in 6070. And it is decorated. Uh, you can tell the difference between Jason's and mine. Jason's are the Star Wars <laughs> decorations and mine are the other ones. Um, but we are right near the midship stairwell, which is perfect. It's been really nice because we're like, you know, obviously midway through the ship. So we're not too far from anything here. So I'm about to redecorate with my birthday decorations because tomorrow is officially my birthday. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, here's my birthday decorations. I made all these at home, obviously prior to coming on the ship. So I used glitter paper, glitter cardstock for a lot of this. 
and it doesn't really laminate super well so you may want to think about that before you use glitter cardstock for your decorating purposes but anyway I think it turned out pretty cute I like it okay I decided to edit it a little bit more so I added these two I forgot I also had well there we go and Jason Star Wars um, magnets have been moved to the bottom but they'll be, they'll get moved back because this won't stay the whole week maybe just a couple of days and then also from guest services I obtained a birthday button so these are available on Disney Cruise Line as well not just the parks and they just handed it to me when I asked so that's also another option for celebrating your birthday on the cruise here is a quick stateroom tour of room 6070 on the Disney Fantasy it is my birthday so that's why all these birthday magnets are on the door this is a veranda room when you first step in you have and all of our stuff is in here I apologize but you have a closet which has a safe and shelving you have two closets actually this would be my side I apologize for the mess but the life jackets are up top on this side and then to the left of you there are two restrooms this is the side with the potty and the sink and then this door houses the shower and hello sink also so it has the potty and the shower separate you can tell I have a two-year-old because I use the word potty <laughs> on the back of the door also is where your assembly station will be so it will tell you on your uh, key to the world card which letter you're in and on the back of the door it kind of gives you a map as to where you are to go also at the door, the Fantasy and Dream are operated by stateroom keys in the little slot here. So I found an old, this actually is a Year of a Million Dreams Disneyland ticket. And I just brought it along with me to place there so I didn't have to keep taking my Key to the World card out of its little holder around my neck here in order to put it there. Continue walking in, there's some more shelving with an ice bucket. And then here are some drawers. The bed is here along with a couple of bedside tables and a clock and a phone. Here is some artwork in our room. And then if you keep going, there is a flat screen TV, which has movies on demand, which is nice. There's a whole desk area with a chair. I like to do my hair and makeup sitting there. And then in the corner is a um, couch that folds out to a bed some more artwork up top and this little coffee table has an opening so you can put things inside if you need to which is also nice oh and I love this okay here is the huh, sorry about all my junk here is the hair dryer that comes with the room this has been a question that's been brought up a lot in Facebook groups I'm a part of but it is a babyless 2000 Babyless Expert 2000. This is a really awesome hair dryer, and this is actually the same brand of flat iron I use. So I was shocked to see this in the rooms, but that is the hair dryer that comes with your room. And then also in the top drawer, which I think is cute, they have postcards and Disney stationery, so make sure you snag that before you leave, and a pen, and some room service menus. And finally, the veranda. It is an at sea day. We are enjoying this veranda thoroughly. It has two chairs and a table. This one actually is like right on top of the lifeboat. I've never been in a um, veranda like this before. So if you are midship on deck six, no, you probably will be right on top of the lifeboat. So if you don't like that, then don't book a room on midship deck six. But it doesn't bother us too much. The water's beautiful. The sound of the ocean's beautiful. This is just what we love about having a veranda is being able to sit out here and enjoy it. And that is a tour of room 6070 on the Disney Fantasy. Let me also add a few things. Um, if you're a first time cruiser, under the bed, it is high enough to push your luggage. So your suitcases aren't in the room, stumbling over them, because these rooms are not huge. They are big, but they're not huge. So it's nice to have a spot to slide them under, under the bed, that way they're out of the way. And then here at the desk is also a little fridge. So if you ever have a drink or a dessert or something that you want to bring back with you that needs to be refrigerated, that is the place to do it. And I think that's pretty much everything. There's a look back over the room 
and that is the official tour <laughs> of room 6070 on the Disney Fantasy. So we're in the Quiet Cove Cafe and I've decided to try my first coffee beverage in here. I've never purchased coffee in here so we'll see. This is a salted caramel coconut latte. He said that's a very popular one. It's this one right here. It looks delicious. One, the ultimate Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> well, she got a kick out of our name. Idiots on a cruise. We won. <laughs> Raining champs of ultimate Disney trivia. Yes, sir. <laughs> we only got two cruises in a row. Two cruises in a row. <laughs> the bar. Uh, make sure you have those pencils and those papers from the bar. Uh, and we're going to get started in just a second. Team Star is born from Hercules. Let's have a listen, shall we? Oh, man! We should have gone with our first instinct! Oh, my favorite movie when I was little I used to think I was How Ariel and whenever I went on a holiday or vacation I used to get in the pool and then <laughs> and then get to the side Sleeping Beauty if I was a princess that's the one I want to be because I really <laughs> like sleeping <laughs> yeah definitely all right question number 12 what did we think it was when somebody loved me. When somebody loved me from Toy Story 2. From Toy Story 2, and I'm yes. looking for the two here. Yes. Here we go. And when she was happy, so twenty. Woo! Twenty-five. Oop. Twenty. will also be walking around with complimentary beverages, very fancy. Uh, and then later on this evening in the D-Lounge, come join me at 10.45. Uh, we're going to celebrate in style. We're going to imagine it's New Year's again and we're going to count down and welcome the new year in okay. on August the 26th. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's exciting. It's a real cool dance party. Uh, what I need you to do, have a wonderful day around the ship today. Uh, I've been Jenny, unless you hated it. And <laughs> then I was... Um, Steve. Steve! That was Steve! Amazing! Have a lovely, lovely day! Thank you! And you're Bye! Yay! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! You're welcome! Now you've got to put... Two! No, he... Three of them! No! They shoved a bunch on us. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take the brunt of the punishment. Okay, now you have to let three by the end of the time. So as I'm sure you can see from the video, we also won Disney Music Trivia. So we teamed up with another guy from England, right? Wasn't he from England? Sure. And um, we teamed up with him because he had another gold lanyard and I was like, that dude's by himself and he looks Disney smart, so let's team up with him. So we did. We won two trivias in a row. The last trivia was the ultimate Disney trivia adult only version and we only got half the questions right and we still won because those questions were really hard. And then in... Disney music trivia, we got 24 out of 30, which I didn't think was too bad. So we returned to our room and we had some gifts in our fish extender. <laughs> this is actually like legit. Somebody either monogrammed or purchased. I have no idea how they did this, but these are like Disney Cruise Line slippers. So as I mentioned a while ago, we are participating in the fish extender exchange. You can find those on Facebook. Each cruise pretty much has a Facebook group and that's where I found ours. We've done this every cruise. So we decided to continue and almost every time I do something that has a little bit of a taste of Louisiana and nobody in my group is from the South. So I think they should appreciate this. Um, I made a little tag with our room number on it. Also doing Tabasco sauce and Tony Sastry's. This is a Creole seasoning uh, packet that you can put on food and stuff. This is really good. This is like the best. 
um, Tabasco sauce is really hot and spicy. And these are all made in Louisiana, not far from my home. I found these at Target. These are just Mickey themed Jelly Bellies. This is not an adult only uh, group, which sometimes they are. So I figured the kids could share some jelly beans. And then I also did Community Coffee Mardi Gras King Cake Roast. Community Coffee is another Louisiana based food um, service. So that's why I went with that. And then this little folder, let me show you a different one here. I have green and blue. These are from, I think I got these either at uh, the dollar store or Walmart maybe, but it's a little folder. I figured they could put paperwork and stuff in. I actually received one like this one time on a cruise and I've used it for many years with paperwork and stuff. And then it also has a little zipper inside and I cut this out on my silhouette machine and put it on there in sticky vinyl. So that's pretty much our fish extender gifts this time around. I did not go all out because I just didn't have time and I don't know. I just didn't go all out, but that's okay. This is, this is good enough for me. So we're going to go with it and hope everybody appreciates it. Hey, look, it's the metal rack in our game room. <laughs> so way back when, once upon a time before the Castaway Key 5k got all fancy, this is actually the medals they used to give to the runners. I did not know these still existed. So it's hysterical that this is what they're giving out for cruise trivia. What we received last time for cruise trivia was uh, Disney Cruise Line keychains. We got a couple of notebooks. So the fact that they've gone back to these medals, and I, I like that they switch it up, but still this kind of makes me laugh because this is seriously what we got when we ran the Castaway Key 5K probably, what, six, seven years ago? Something like that. Anyway. But this, these little hooks come in handy because that's where they're hanging from right now. <laughs> it is formal night and also the captain's welcome reception. So everybody's kind of milling about in the atrium. We're in line to take a photo with a backdrop. There's several opportunities here. The one we purchased last time was on the stairwell with Minnie and also with Captain Mickey up there on the second level. So we're trying to get a little something different here. So that's why we're standing here with the back, this uh, cruise ship backdrop. So that's the plan for the moment. And then hopefully in about 30 minutes, we might play some more trivia. We'll see. It is formal night on the Disney Fantasy. And we just took a bunch of pictures. Now we're playing more trivia because I love playing trivia. And we're skipping the show tonight because the show happened last night also. So they're they're replaying a couple of things twice. So that's nice for us because we get kind of a night off from the shows. So yeah, that's the plan. We're just waiting on trivia. Right. 24, the Disney Dream. I don't know. We missed a couple. Oh, this is fun. Let's see. How many did you guys get right? <laughs> how much did you get right, though? 14. 14? How many did you guys write? 19. Uh, 19. Oh, not too bad at all. Everybody did really well. We're going to give you both a pair. Yay! Of so for the crew members, we have trivia. I don't know why I'm talking about it. <laughs> we have <laughs> trivia every week for the crew to bend all of this. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining. I'm sure you'll be enjoying your night. Again, you can go to the two, pass by, there's a marquee. So there are multiple photo opportunities tonight for formal night. Um, if you're looking for characters, Belle is up there. Goofy is on the second level, or the next level of Mickey, Captain Mickey, a pie is Tiana, and then there's also several backdrops on the sides, as well as the staircase and the statue, so just be on the lookout if you're interested in a family picture for formal night. It does get crowded though, so you gotta watch that. Dinner tonight is in Enchanted Garden. Seventy-three. Seventy-three, Antonio. Hello. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here's tonight's menu. We kind of checked it out a little bit ahead of time. Not sure yet what I'm going to order, but we'll see. Looks pretty decent. Starting off tonight with the bread service and some hummus. And the whole premise of Enchanted Garden is that the atmosphere changes as the day goes on. So it starts off as an early afternoon or late afternoon when the sun is still shining. 
the flowers have not bloomed. It's green and pretty and bright. And then night will fall here shortly as the mill goes on. From the appetizers, from the appetizer menu is lobster ravioli. And what is that? A mushroom? Mushroom. mushroom. Tart. Tart? From the soup and salad section, I ordered cream of asparagus soup. Jason ordered cream of tomato? Uh, heirloom tomato. Heirloom. For entrees, we both ordered the slow roasted prime rib. This thing is huge. <laughs> it's really big. She warned us. Jason was going to order two, but I'm glad he did not. And now the sun is starting to set. The colors are changing in here. Make it pink, make it blue, make it purple. It's like the castle. It did. The sun set really fast. Here go the flowers. We went through the gamut of a whole day in like 30 minutes. Okay, so our waiter has jokes or puzzles or games and she wanted us to move three crayons to make five triangles because you have one, two, three. And I, for once, figured it out because I never figure these things out. One. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. I never figure these out, seriously, ever. And last but not least for dessert is warm sticky date pudding and a chocolate tart for Jason and decaf coffee. <laughs> it's a frog tonight. Tomorrow's navigator, I'm assuming over here, which is nice. So we had a great dinner. It was delicious as always. And now we're gonna head to the adult club or let me say this don't to the adult only area to the tube uh, to watch a game show called The Quest which is always fun so we're gonna bring our bag along with us and see if anything is necessary from that bag for this game and yeah so I'll show you a little bit of that and then we'll call it a night when it comes to this game show right here hopefully you form yourselves in the teams are you forming yourselves in teams now are you good are you teams now yeah very good yes. okay now do one of my favorite things and decide amongst yourselves who's going to be your team captain this could be the person who's going to see your team number and a drinking straw the team number the drinking straw Why do you have keys on your ship? He's the only one. No, it was, it was more than one, trust me. See, they were car keys. So let me get this straight. You were about to go to dinner. You said, hey, wait a minute, everybody. You can't leave the cabin just yet. You got the car keys. Trust me, your car is no longer outside. <laughs> now please see your team number and lady wearing men's shoes on her feet. Lady wearing two shoes on her Let's have your team number. Go, 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 go. Thank you so much. Good job, good job. We just got back from the adult shows and look what Jason did. He surprised me with decorations because in literally 20 minutes it will officially be my birthday. Isn't that so sweet? They're all Disney. Look how cute. This is awesome. 
Thank you, Jason. Welcome. Good job. And on that note, we're officially going to call it a night. So thank you for joining us today on our first Etsy day. Tomorrow is our second Etsy day. It's my birthday and we're going to have lunch or brunch at Palo. So come along and thank you for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.